Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I'm here with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. We are here with you today. It is the day before Thanksgiving. I can't believe it. I'm coming on just a few minutes early today, about one minute early. I don't know, I'm anxious to see you guys today, so I thought I'd just pop on a few minutes early and we'll see what's going on and what everybody's doing for Thanksgiving. Ellie has a big yellow bow today for Thanksgiving. Um, I don't know, I was thinking, you know, yellow, brown, the Thanksgiving type of colors, maybe orange. She doesn't have really a Thanksgiving outfit. So we're here just hanging out and it's kind of warm here in San Diego. It's about, it's gotten as high as I think 84 today, which is, which is pretty warm, but it cools down a lot at night. So that's good. Um, so I'm just, we're just hanging out. Margaret Gordon. Um, Southern, oh my gosh, Margaret, what happened? Are you okay? Tell me, I think you're like the only one on here right now. Tell me what happened. You must be bored in that you have time to come on. I'm so sorry. Sutherland Hospital. Um, I'm watching for a comment to see you tell me Hi, Tina. Good to see you from North Carolina. I'm just chatting with Margaret from Australia. She said that she had surgery last night. I hope you're okay. Um, Tina, help me keep an eye out. We're going to watch for Margaret to answer and see what happened. I, I'm just being a little bit concerned. Um, she's probably typing. I'm sure it's kind of hard to type right in the hospital. Oh, you had a hernia operation. Okay, so you must be doing pretty well to be to be watching. Are you missing your stamping? <laughs> How long do you have to stay in the hospital? Gosh, that's that's I'm so sorry. I hope you recover very quickly and get right back to your stamping. And I will pray for you, Margaret. I'm I'm sorry about that. Um, Tina, how are you doing? What's up with you for tomorrow? Yes, we hope you feel better soon, Margaret. Um, so I have a little bit of news. When I was on with you um, the other day, I think it was last Friday, um, I didn't think I wasn't going to have, we weren't going to have Thanksgiving here. The family, they were all doing their own thing. And my husband and I were just going to have our own little Thanksgiving with a little small turkey that we bought. And on Saturday night last week, we found out that everyone decided to come over to our house. Hi, Jean. Yes, we, we hope you're healing well, Margaret. So on Saturday night, I found out that they're all coming over here on Thursday. They changed their mind and they decided to come over. So my husband does most of the grocery shopping. So he raced out and got an 18 pound turkey, which is in our refrigerator. And um, hello, Vicki from Arizona. Tina started a lot of cooking today. Yeah, so I started cooking right away. And now everyone's coming over tomorrow. And including my husband's 96 year old mother, he has to go drive to get her about 45 minutes away. Um, but I know she, I know she's so excited to come. Margaret, you're missing your dogs more than anything. Yes. Oh, you've missed your dogs for about six days. Oh, I'm so sorry. I totally understand. Oh, well, we wish that you get home very quickly. Um, hi, Holly. Good to see you. So anyway, um, I thought I was relaxing and just doing a little small turkey for my husband and I, and all of a sudden I'm doing an 18 pound turkey now, tomorrow. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, 
So I've been making cranberry relish and um, my husband even did some things I had to pop out for a while today. So um, we're really going to be cooking up a storm tomorrow. And uh, this little one, she likes turkey. So we'll be having a, a very big meal and I hope all of you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And um, I don't know how many we'll have on today. I see, okay, Linda is on, Bonnie, good to see you. Um, just a little something to do in amongst all of the Thanksgiving preparations. It's very relaxing to do our stamping, isn't it? Um, it it's really, I was really happy to be coming in here to do this because it takes my mind off everything I have to do. Linda, good to see you, yes, Ellie has a good, it was, kind of what I thought of for Thanksgiving, the thanks, a Thanksgiving bow. Tomorrow when everyone comes, I'm thinking of possibly having her wear her Barbie outfit just because they haven't seen it. And I think they might really like her. She'll be so excited. She loves to have company. So that's going to be great. Well, welcome, welcome. I guess we'll, um, we'll get started. Um, there is the news. Oh, Cherie, good to see you. Happy day before Thanksgiving. And Margaret, you know, we're all, everybody loves Thanksgiving because it's just food and more food and time off work and everybody loves Thanksgiving. So um, I'm gonna put Ellie down and we're gonna talk about, my husband has someone over today. There's uh, someone in the kitchen talking with, with my husband. So if you hear some noise, they're in there chatting, which we he's usually in the back room. But what I thought we might talk about is the last chance list. Okay, last the I'm gonna go ahead and turn turn us down because we're gonna look at some things. So this beautiful catalog, um, the our holiday catalog, the mini catalog expires or it retires I guess I'll say on January 3rd and I really don't know why but they released the list of items that are retiring very very what I think is kind of early but I guess not because it's retiring January 3rd and we'll be kind of done making Christmas cards shortly but it's a good thing because then we know what's going to retire and we have time to ask for it on our Christmas list. I wanted to mention that to you. So I thought we'd take a look at the catalog. We're going to make a card. We're going to make a rocker card today. Um, and I'll just, some of you, you are all, some of you such great card makers. I'll just hold this up. It's a little rocker card. But um, we're going to do that after we zip through this catalog. And I wanted to just, you know, kind of mention some things that are going to be retiring. A lot is retiring, and I want you to be able to get it if you want it before it's gone. I checked the, la um, Linda, you asked for a lot of Stampin' Up! goodies from Santa. That is a smart girl right there. So right, I learned recently that in the Stampin' Up! store, you can actually create a wish list um, I don't know if it's called wish list, but it might be. You can create your own wish list in there, and then you can give the link to your family members to go in there and buy it for you. Tracy, good to see you in your car. <laughs> oh my gosh, well, it's probably a quiet place over the holidays, I would guess. Good to see you, Tracy. So anyway, if you want um, gifts from Stampin' Up! Gifts, Renee, good to see you. Um, go in the Stampin' Up! store and make your wish list. It might be under ordering. I, you know, I haven't studied it that much, but you can make a wish list in there. And then there's a link that you can give email to like a relative um, to get so that they can get the Stampin' Up! stuff for you. So check that out. I need to learn more about it. I just heard about it recently. So we're gonna look through here and see what's retiring. I made big marks all over my catalog. We're gonna zip through and I'm gonna um, show you from what I have what's retiring. Okay, this has been uh, a real, I'm gonna put my glasses on. 
It's called A Walk in the Forest. I have this paper and most usually all of the designer series papers retire. This year we have a couple that are carrying over. Um, okay, I, ha I have this all marked up for what is retiring and what is carrying over. Carrying over are the iridescent adhesive back dots that I've given away a couple times. But everything else on this page is retiring. The Marion Bright, the dies are currently 10% off. Okay, so remember that if you go, and the link to my store is right up above. Um, thank you, Linda. So um, when you go into the store, make sure, like in this case, a bundle price, it's still a bundle, would be 10% off everything. They're all, they are currently selling the dies for 10% off. So I don't think that really is a benefit. But if you had the stamp set and not the dies, then you'd want to do that. Okay, so there's that. Um, these items, the St. Nicholas set is retiring. And the dies, again, are 10% off. I tried to get this all marked for you guys. Um, maybe I should do it this way. These are things I don't have. The Marius Trees Bundle is retiring. So make note if you want some of these items to go in and get them in your list. And I would say sooner rather than later in case any of them expire. The Tiny Christmas Trees Die, which is very cute, it's right here, um, is 20% off right now. You guys, it's a very cute die. That is retiring 20% off. The festive and fun set that we've used together is retiring. I will just mention when things are discounted. Um, <clears throat> the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Night Divine set is retiring. The only thing continuing is the beautiful Knight of Navy and Gold Ribbon. That's continuing. Everything else is retiring. So if I actually personally ordered more of this paper just for myself because I think it's so beautiful and I wanted to keep some. Um, okay, and then it's partner um, bundle, which is, that was Night Divine over there. The Stars at Night bundle is also retiring. And the Stars at Night hybrid embossing folder, you guys, is 30% off. What this means is this is a die set and a, an embossing folder, and you can put the dies in the embossing folder and cut and emboss at the same time. Okay, 30% off. It's normally $39, so I'm not a math whiz, but some of you can figure that out. So 30% off if you want that. That is a great buy. Okay, I'm just going to set this down over here. All right, we'll continue on. Um, the Rocking Horse, that is retiring. The Shop the Town is retiring. Um, Forever Forest is continuing. But when they say continuing, it, they won't continue as a bundle. It will continue individually. So if you want this and haven't gotten it, get it as a bundle because that's 10% off currently until January 3rd. Um, Joy to You is retiring. The Handcrafted Elements dies. Oops, my light. Um, I had been wanting to get this. I never did get it. But it creates these beautiful ornaments. I thought it looked so nice. I may go back in and get it. These dies that create these ornaments. It doesn't go with this set. They're separate. 10% off currently. The tree set. Okay, Linda loves the tree set. Berry Christmas, all retiring except the Snowflake Sky embossing folder. Okay, everything else is retiring there. Very Cute is retiring. The Very Cute Punch is retiring. Now, Gift of Giving. I have had a lot of fun with this set. I have enjoyed this set, and it is retiring. And on my blog, I think I had this on my blog today. If I didn't, it'll be on in another couple days, but I think it might be on. I'm not sure. I'm kind of forgetting. I've got so much going on here right now. I'm a little distracted with my husband talking. Um, so I made this cute card with the with these cups. I think they're just adorable. So that's retiring. If you want that, grab that while you can. 
A lot of people love the winter owls. Those are retiring. The fragrant forest and graceful deer are both continuing. Um, Joy of Christmas. So this is the beautiful Noel set. And this is um, the Joy of Noel bundle. Okay, this is really over on the other side. That is retiring. And there's no discount there. So if you want this, get it at the bundle price. I made a rocker card using this earlier today. And here's the rocker card. Isn't that cute? <laughs> yes, you might have to, Linda. So this is the little rocker card. Let me move all of this so you can see it. It's all sparkly. I used some of the paper. See how it rocks like that? I used, um, I didn't use this paper. I used some other paper. And I did that little ribbon thing. So this set is retiring. If you're interested, um, snag that. Plus the beautiful paper. The, the black and white, black and vanilla ribbon is continuing. Okay, and this set I didn't get. This is retiring. And these dies are 10% off the Christmas Classics dies. Thank you, Holly. Okay, you guys, we're using this today. You know I have loved this so much, and I've already talked to you about it. Sending Cheer, the stamp set is 40% off, and the dies are 40% off. Do not get them as a bundle right now. We're going to use them today. If you don't have this, it's an amazing price. Um, the stamp set is now $14.40, and the dies are normally $35, and they're currently only $21. Um, I looked right before I came on to make sure that this wasn't sold out because we're going to use it. But um, I think it's really one of the only things that's such a great bargain. Um, you ordered the sending cheer, Linda. Good. Jolly Words is retiring. These are some I did not get. Radiant Light is retiring. The beautiful brushed gold cards and envelopes are continuing. I've made quite a few Christmas cards from those. You might even get one, some of you. Um, wishes All Around is retiring. The dies there are 10% off. Okay, here's the paper I used for the rocker card. That's retiring. This is the paper I used for this rocker card that I just showed you. This is retiring. Snowflake Magic specialty paper. This is one of the very few designer series paper that can, is continuing. Winter Meadow, also silver and white ribbon, also faceted gems, but the um, bundle is retiring. And I've got that marked here. Um, Sparkling Snowflakes is continuing. So if, if you like that, now when they say continuing, I think it means it might come out next in another catalog. I don't think it means it's continuing in January. I'm not totally 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure. Um, above it all is retiring. Dyes, these dyes are 30% off, you guys. Good price. Precious, this is the best deal in there. It's the one thing, I, the only thing I saw, but there could be more. The Precious Pine Cones uh, stamp set is 60% off. So that's an excellent bargain. Um, are all about autumn. Um, the dots are retiring. The copper ribbon is retiring. The distressed embossing folder is continuing, and I'm using that in our project today. I love that. This oxidized copper paper is continuing. The all about autumn paper is retiring. Well, it's gone. It's just gone. It's not even retiring. They just couldn't get it anymore. Um, but, but the autumn leaves is continuing on. Um, carrying over. I should be using that proper word, carrying over. Um, and I think you can get it now. I think you can. Um, fruitful blessings. Okay, here's another one. Oh, I've been skipping a few things. Okay, fruitful blessings is one that I got that I have really enjoyed. It's a beautiful uh, bundle, but right now the dies are 30% off. These dies right here are 30% off. The stamp set is regular price, so I'm, I'm letting you know some of the, some of the bargains. Let's see, okay, we're going correctly. 
the rustic crate is, let me fold this, the rustic crate is continuing, rusting, cr carrying over, rustic crate dies are carrying over. Um, the So Sincere stamp set, Love, is carrying over. The Abundant Beauty decorative masks are retiring. Okay, them bones, all the them bones are retiring. All them old bones are retiring. Um, also, the uh, Trick or Treat bundle. Now, I didn't get the stamp set on that, but if you'll remember, we made a really cute little, um, a little uh, gift card holder and bag out of that, those dies. They're not discounted, but that's retiring. And our super cute Pick of the Patch, another one I've loved so much. This, I didn't get the punch out. This cute Pick of the pant Patch is retiring, and so is the punch. Um, let's see, Blooming Pearls are continuing, carrying over. Ribbon and Paper retiring, and the stamp set Modern Garden is also retiring. More Wishes is continuing, if you have that. I just got that. Um, translucent Florals is carrying over. That's good. Medley Mix retiring. We're almost to the end. Light the Sky. Okay, you guys, we're going to be starting to use this starting in December. Um, I've got this, and I'm going to do a class on it. This is so fun, and it is carrying over, and I'm so glad because it's New Year's, but it's also a good 4th of July, and I'm so glad it's carrying over. So look for that. Um, Always With Me is carrying over. Whale Watching Retiring. Throughout the Year carrying over. Uh, year to celebrate retiring. Cheers to the season. You guys, we've used this and it's a very nice set. 30% off right now. Deckled circles are continuing. We're going to use those today. I'm going to speed because otherwise we'll be too late. Uh, curved occasions retiring, but the curved label punch is carrying over. Warmest heart bundle is retiring. And we're done. Okay. I hope I've given you a really good... Um, view of what is retiring, what's carrying over, and get those things while you can, while they're at good prices and or before they fully retire. Polly, good to see you. So today we're going to make a cute rocker card using the Sending Cheer Bundle because I want you guys to, I want you to get it if you don't have it, and it's 40% off each separate item. Um, and I have been wanting to make a rocker card. I bet some of you have. You're welcome, Linda. So this is how it goes. And I wanted to show you how to make it. So let's get to that right away. And it uses, to make it, you need some large circles. In this case, we're going to use the deckled circles that are carrying over. And I wanted to show you how to actually make, make it because I kind of wondered myself. So I'm, I, because the circle is so large, I brought my regular size stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I'm using a five and a half inch by eight and a half inch piece of basic white card stock. And the, the uh, second to the largest deckled circle is the one we want because I want it to fit in an envelope. If you don't care about that, you could use the largest one, but I wanted it to fit in an envelope. And you see what I mean? It ha barely, barely fits on there, just like that. Okay, <clears throat> let me get that balance. Transitioning from showing the ca catalog to making a card. Um, but I don't wanna keep you forever because I know we all have things to do. Lisa McCusker, good to see you. You're welcome, Margaret. And we hope all of you feel much better. We hope, we all hope you feel much better, Margaret. And you get home to your puppies very soon. Okay, so here's the circle. And I'm gonna be using the die cutting machine a lot, so I'm just gonna set it over there. And what I wanted to show you is, to start your card, um, I, I have tried to figure it out, like scoring and whatnot, but actually I came to the conclusion that the easiest way to do it is just fold the circle in half, just like that, and use your, your um, 
bone folder. That's what I discovered. And you know what? It comes out, look how close that is. And it doesn't look too bad. It, I think it's not bad at all. So just fold your circle in half. It's, it's, I don't know, it's beyond my math skills to get the center of the circle on the paper trimmer. So that is the first thing. Then um, I'm only decorating the front. You could also decorate the back side. Thank you, Marcia. Good to see you. So then I have used, um, I went down two, um, I think I went down two circles in the large, you know, that's all I have to say is, you know, I went down from that, I went down two to the, if you need, well, I don't know the measurements. If you need the measurements, email me, Peggy at prettypapercards.com. And then, so this is the next layer, and then I'm going to put a layer of, this is one I really want to use. I, I don't know, I don't know anything about um, online exclusive retiring, but this is an online exclusive. Cindy Reed, good to see you. Oh, I'm so sorry your screen froze. Um, I wanted to use this darling paper. I really like it. It's the Traditions of St. Nicholas, and I just love it. And then I wanted to show you how to do a half of the circle, how I how I've been doing that to create your rocker card. So we're going to cut out, and this is, anyway, this is another one. I just went down two each time, two circles, because they're very close together. And so if you did one circle and then the next one, you would hardly see the paper behind. And I really want to see, I want them to see the white, the red, and the designer series paper. So that's why I've, I started with the next to the largest circle die. And then I've just been going down two from that. And so this you really do have to cut in half. And I wanted to show you how to do this because we need one half of it to sit on the front, right? And if we, if we tipped it over, it would be upside down on the other side. So here is my suggestion again. Fold it in half, see what you want for your, get it where you want it, fold it in half, decide the part you want to see. Now I'm going to show you how I cut this. First I folded it, and then I got out my paper trimmer and cut along the folded line. This is, this is the way you do it when you don't want to use figures. So then I just cut down the folded line and it comes out perfect. So I'm giving you a tip, okay? So there is the beautiful little paper that's going to go on top. So now we have our three layers. We have our, this is real red, our white that is the actual full circle that's going to uh, create the rocker, are half of a circle of real red and half of a circle of the St. Nick. And let's just go ahead and glue all those on. Um, I mean, it really is easy to make and they're fun. I think these would be fun for kids. I think they're fun for anybody. But I think they'd be fun for kids. Whoops. And so we're just going to adhere this right onto the front of our rocker card just like this. Just making, and what you do is just pull it up to the top. And because it was folded, there's a little, kind of a bit of a little curve that makes it sit so nicely on that, on the fold of the white, of the basic white card stock. Now let, that's the one we're not using. I'll put that away. And this has the, everything right side up, the little gingerbread man, the orange, the little, I think that's like a little hot toddy, some cider maybe. And we'll just put this on. I might have gone three, level, three circles down to get this one because it looks a little, it looks a little, there's a little more space there, right? So that's the base of your, of your rocker card. And then you just can decorate it however you would like. 
And so what I'm going to do for my rocker card is I cut out even more circles. Can you believe that? So what I did this time is <clears throat> rather than have, I cut out a circle using the stylish shapes dies. And I went ahead and embossed it like I mentioned using the carrying over distress tile 3D embossing folder. I just think that embossing is so pretty. I'm going to hold it right up there. See if you can see. Let me see if I can get it where you can really see it. Can you see that pretty embossing? I just think it's so pretty. And what I decided is if I put it on like this, then you would look at the back of the card and that's how it would look. And I don't really like that look. I would like someone to see white on the back. So I cut a second circle from the stylish shape circle dies. Well, it's stylish shape dies, and there are circles and squares and um, banners. And so I think that would look really nice on the back, personally. So that's why I cut both of these pieces from this using the same size stylish shaped die, circle die. And so I'm just going to put some glue on there. That's the back side. Let me get the you know, it's a little hard to tell the right side on this distressed tile because both sides are so pretty, but one sticks up just a little bit more than the other. So now, I think when you when you adhere this, the back of your card, I think is going to look pretty. Uh, I think it's going to look better. Thank you, Linda. So what we're going to do is it really is an easy card. And then we're just going to glue this part and you just don't want to go up too high there um, with your glue because you don't want it to, you know, squirt out on the back. And then I'm just gluing this to the front and that will adhere just like that. And there, now we have something we're going to decorate in it, on the front of the circle and it stands up a little bit. I think it makes the card look cuter. It fits right inside the envelope. Check it out. Love it. I love stamping up envelopes. And so now what we're going to do is we are just going to uh, do a little stamping. So from the Sending Cheer stamp set, I'm going to um, stamp a stocking out of copper clay ink. Now I normally wouldn't do that but I want it to go with the designer series paper and that has a little copper clay in there. So this is the little stocking. I think it's very cute. And I'm just going to press down there. And there's our cute little stocking. And while I'm at it, I'm going, there's a cute, so this has a die that matches it, okay? And the die comes up higher so that it, sh it has like um, a little cuff on the stocking. So we're going to cut that out. But another die in the Sending Cheer set is this cute little tag. And I want to stamp it with For You, one of the stamps in the set, using Real Red ink. So I'm going to see if I can um, cut them both at the same time with the dies. And really, this is, like I said, it's really a quick card once you learn how to do it. So we'll get our machine back up here and put our plates in. And that's the nice thing about the big one. I don't use it very often when I'm working with you, do I? But the nice thing is you can fit so much on it. So we'll put our stocking die right on there like that and then we'll put our little label die on just like that let's see that looks pretty good and now we'll run them through the one thing i like about the stocking is that it does make that cuff in other words we don't have to do a second stamping or die cutting to get that little white cuff on top. Is that the right word? I, I'm not 100% sure, but I'll show you what I mean. So, you see what I mean? 
Isn't that cute? And then here's our, our little um, tag, actually, is what it is, a little tag. So here's our card, and here's our little stocking, and they are meant, these are meant to be tags, actually. Um, but I'm combining two tags, and I'm going to put them on like that. I, my die cutting there wasn't perfect, was it? But it wasn't too bad. So I'm going to put my, my stocking on with two dimensionals, my Christmas, the Christmas stocking. <clears throat> and I'm going to put it kind of like that. And then I'm going to have the tag meet the circles are going to meet together and then we're going to put a bow over that. So we just do that. And there we have our little stocking and our Christmas tag that says for you. And then I'm going to add some red ribbon. This is one of the red ribbons uh, that's in the annual catalog. And it's nice and slim. I like it. Um, it's a it's in a it's a duo pack. It comes with another ribbon, <clears throat> and I think this one might come with um, a, let me see which one. Maybe a crumb cake ribbon. It looks like crumb cake, I think. So there's our little bow. You could tie a knot, but bows are cute. We got to have bows. You guys know I like to have bows. So let's pull that just a hair. Okay, and then I'm going to get my mini glue dots. And I wanted to show you the way I prefer to adhere bows. Okay, I'm going to find the next glue dot is right there. And what I'm going to do is put the loop right on, one of the loops right on to that glue dot like that and pull it up. Okay. So now we've got a glue dot on one loop, and now I'm going to go over to the other loop and put a glue dot on that. Instead of putting the glue dot in the center, which works fine, and you definitely could, but then if you, if you kind of like to know where your little loops are going to land, you don't always know where this way you can actually put it right where you want them. So I'm just going to put that, let's see, well, how do I want to do that? Hmm. Now I'm, now I'm having a question here. Now I don't know. Okay. Based on the, where I put, where I adhered everything, I think I'm going to put it right here. And that little glue dot got attached to that little tail. Now I got a bit of a mess going on. Let me see. We, are, we make mistakes together. You guys know that. We all kind of do things together. Well, that is just not working well at all. Okay. Let's, let's do it again. Do you mind? <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, stuff happens. What can I say? Let's try it again. I'll fix, I'll trim the tails later. You know I do that. Maybe my problem was that I made the bow too large. That is a little better right there. Okay. Now let's try it again. There are no mistakes in stamping. Sometimes it takes a little bit of patience if you want it to be just kind of perfect the way I usually do, and I know many of you do also. So there we go. I'm feeling much better about this bow. There we go. Okay. I think we're going to put this bow right like that. Okay. And then we're going to just trim the little tails. You know, I need to get my ribbon scissors because I use those other others for paper just all the time. And we'll trim this real neat looking. Let's see. There we go. So 
So there's our cute little our cute little rocker card. Here was the other one. So this is the green. The both of the both of these little designer series papers are from um, Traditions of Saint Nick, but one has is a little different than the other one. This one actually has stockings on it. You really, Christmas stockings, you really can't tell. But there you go. And I just think that's gonna be so much fun when they somebody receives that and, and they just, they're not expecting to have a rocker card. And this is what I mean. Don't you think kids are just gonna have a blast with that? Just rocking those cards. Even adults are gonna have a blast with it. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's thank you, Becky. They are. They're just so cute. And once you do it once, you'll get the hang of it, and then you can um, you can make them fast. If I wasn't showing you, I would have made mine really fast. Okay. I'm going to have a little sip of water. I've been talking a lot. Okay. So the next thing we have to do is we are going to give a prize. And the prize from last week, this is what we made last week. If you remember, we made this really pretty tag. And this is our tag that we made from last week. And this is the prize for today. And so I haven't seen her on here, but she might come later. Um, Anne Sawson is the winner of our little tag today. So Anne, I have your... Um, your address and I will get I'll try to get this out pretty quick so that you can use it for the holidays because I really like it and so next for next week I can't give away my rocker cards I would but you know I'm personally needing some, some more Christmas cards aren't you like at this when you when you get right up to Christmas it right up to the moment like I want to try to address some this weekend and I'm thinking oh my gosh do I have enough cards so I'm going to keep those rocker cards and send them out. But um, the prize for this week is going to be another one of the iridescent pearls, you guys. These are fabulous. And you can color them. We could have colored a few and put them on our card today. I didn't even think to do that. So put prize if you want some iridescent pearls next week when we get together next Friday. Next Wednesday, sorry. Ooh, that's going to be almost the end of the month. Do you realize there's only one more week of this month? I can't believe it. Thank you all for stopping by today on the day before Thanksgiving. Um, Margaret, we wish you a very speedy recovery and getting back to your dogs right away. For everyone else, happy, happy Thanksgiving. If you have time, make a card or two. That's what I'm hoping to do at some point, maybe after everyone leaves tomorrow. That's kind of how I like to relax. And I hope maybe you can do that too. I am thankful for each one of you. Thank you so much that you stop by all the time. You give me great joy. And I'm so thankful for you guys. So I will see you next fr this Friday on the 25th. And we'll talk about Thanksgiving. And we'll have, we'll have full tummies.